Okay, let's go. De Niro Mark up in here. What is up? Jo uh, uh, De Niro Shark. More like... Look at this fool, Mark. Running his legs off here. Look at this fool. Let's see if he can get... Yeah, he's trying to. Oh, okay. This is going to turn out bad. Oh, oh, oh. We could... That doesn't work. Come here, son. We're going to kill this fool anyway. So I kind of saved scummed a little bit because I started here. You know? So that's not the greatest. Care with a billion bits. What is up? Care. What are you buying? Yes, what are you buying? Pow, what is up? Thanks for the lurk. I think that is a wonderful thing, pal. I appreciate it. Every GDMF a day. Yippee. You're not, you're not. Pal, pal's good stuff. Oh, God. These things. Okay. We're going to be doing this a couple times. Shit. Get out. Do I have... I don't have magic or nothing. I have absolutely nothing. These guys aren't so bad. Oh, my God. Okay, fuck. 100 years. Oh, we got some lives here. Okay, this will be better. And I got this. Nope, it's gone. Fuck. Maybe I should fight him. Okay, so it is a boomerang. Fuck. Like, how many, uh... He's not actually guarded. There we go. 100, that's good. Season, what is up? I appreciate your lurk. Man, you really uh, got me interested in uh, Revelations, dude. Oh, that's a free easy five. Good. Fuck. Are you serious? I can't have this. Oh, we've got fairy, too. Okay. I, I guess you see the pee bags that are here, though. Anyway, we're going to be analyzing uh, whether or not we think this game deserves top 10 nest status. Or not. Also, uh, I want to start fucking around with uh, PS2. Uh, little Fox Waifu, who is a uh, member of Lawless, also mentioned Okami. Okami. Anyway, Mark, I was enjoying the hell out of your... Um, Oh shit, this is a go, go, go thing. Out of your jaws. Man, I don't remember that game looking so good. Like, I have a memory of playing jaws. Season search, season lurk. Ooh, pee bag. 50. God, 2,000 for this shit. It's gonna be a minute. Ugh. Oh, hey. Let's get smart. Let's seize our fucking shoes as telephones. Yeah, so this, so should it be a game? Should it be that a game that? I guess it's like okay, so this game is not well received, right? But there's plenty of people out here there who like the game. Like for me, for instance. Yeah, you make it look good. Yeah, you make it look good for lol as hell. Yeah, I really felt like that was not the NES version though, man. Like when I saw that, I was like. I really, like, my memory is it looks more like Atari than, uh, than you had it looking, than it actually looked. Okay, come on, come here, son. Oh, fuck. Nope. Oh, shit. Alright, it is what it is. Are they going to start me at the beginning of the... Nope? Okay, good. I'm not even going to fuck with him. Get okay, this boy. Fuck, I am fucking with him. Oh, we're doing everything now because of this shit. Damn. Hop down. Nope. Maybe I can, like, run and jump. Nope. Fuck. We're going to get creative. Oh, do I need to... I, maybe I should leave the room. No, you can make it up here. He can make it. Come on, because he can make it up there. Yeah, there you go. Motherfucker. I guess I should learn how to fight this fool in tight spaces. 
Get the fuck out of my face. There we go. Oh, but I can't really do this here. Anyway, uh, so if it so if a game is not well received, it can't be in the top. Hey, Noby, what's up, Noby? First time chatter. Hey, how'd your um, how'd your session go with a uh, with DQ? Whoever that person was, they were totally right. I, I really, I, I've watched that game played, uh, Dragon Quest XI, and I really don't remember that. But it seems like it's kind of unfortunate, right? It's like, do you want to? Do you want to have to start over just to use the uh, fandangled um, 2D feature? All right, we're gonna knock this block and then jump over here like a like a badass. He really can't jump high. You just gotta throw him over it. So that's like this game has these physics too, where you can get more out of it than you think. Okay, we're gonna be fighting this thing. They're like Stalfos knights or something. Pretty sure. Yeah, I've got this key. Oy. All right. Man, some stout cover yet. Yeah, we will. 2D stuff needed to reset the chapters. Weird. Yeah, kind of, kind of dumb. Like, I really don't remember that, man. But I tell you what. I'll tell you what. When someone says something's true, because I could tell that that I can't remember that person's name, Nikita or something. Um, when that person, when I was saying that, I could tell they were like, no, that's not the case. They were not happy that I was saying that. Um, that I was disagreeing with him, and so, you know, in as any good as any good man or woman or whatever, in, in, anything should do. If you're wrong, you bet you got to say you're wrong. So I, I made sure to say, nope, that person was right. That's weird though. Can, oh fuck. Oh shit, we're back. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I guess. This is the only time I'm going to do this. And I'm not going to fuck with him. I prefer to have some magic going in, but whatever. Anyway, so, um, well, Nobi, maybe you're here, if you're actually here. Uh, top 10 games. You seem like you're probably, like, Ness is probably not your generation. So... Top 10 PS2 games? That's probably what, your first console, right? PS2, maybe PS3? I think you're a little older than that. Stab. We're doing definitive top 10. It's not your favorite game. It's like the most renowned games on the console. And so for PS2, it's got to be... Like, San Andreas has got to be one of them. Uh, not my favorite game. Not my game. What else? Uh... I don't know what Kingdom Hearts game has been in that was on PS2. Oi. Pop you. Oh, hey, we need that. Give. Alright. How much? That's, I get zero experience points from that. GameCube PS1. Oh, okay. Well, let's do, let's do GameCube then. What was your, what was your, uh, like your child, childhood GameCube game? I mean, I feel like for me that's going to be a really easy top ten because it's it's going to be all first party, first party bullshit, you know. Like I'd say, uh, like most of those won't make the top because because so in in the Discord I'm in, that's how I say it. Uh, it's like we're doing top fifty definitive games and we're going. Con oh fuck. We're going console to console first to try to whittle it down to 10 per console. What is up, John? I like your album cover, man. It looks dope. I'm glad you, uh, you back, man. You've been busy. Deep into beats. Metroid Prime. Yeah, let's look at this list. Metroid Prime, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess. Yeah, the usual suspects. Um, of course, Super Smash Brothers Melee is probably on the top of the list. Um... And then maybe maybe it gets a little bit more fuck. I have to do this right. That's how you do that shit. Hell yeah. I'm gonna have to leave this room and come back. Fuck. Yeah. 
two Zelda games. So should two Zelda games? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luigi's Mansion, Eternal Darkness, Ikaruga. Okay, so okay, so uh, Mario Strikers will not get on the top ten for GameCube. Um, I guess Eternal. So so here's the thing with Eternal Darkness. It's like a sleeper hit. Like people love that game. You know, like everyone's like, you should play Eternal Darkness to me. But it's like I don't have access to it. Uh, so like it's gonna get it in like gameplay. You know, it's gonna score well in gameplay. But like renown, oh well, I don't know. People do recommend it. So yeah, I'd put Pikmin up there. Well, okay, so I would put Pikmin too. Well, okay, so there's metrics, right? So it's like, we'd have to check Pikmin 2's sales numbers. I'd put Pikmin 2 there. Like, I, I like all three Pikmin games. Just fine, but, uh... Pikmin 2's, like, another level. A higher, like, echelon of quality. Fuck. Okay, I'm using this spell. Whew. Glad we had enough for it. Uh... Oh, of course. Ridiculous. Wait, just wait. <laughs> just wait. Care. Yeah, because, Carrie, you've seen a little... You've, you've uh, played a little GameCube. Like, like you, we could we could battle it out over Pikmin 1 versus Pikmin 2. That's a good battle. Also, um, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door will probably get on the list just because of how uh, the cult status that it has. No, 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 no. No, we're doing GameCube. I mean, the Wii's gonna be the easy thing, easy shit too. Uh, Cause it's gonna be the same thing as NES. It's gonna be like the Mario's and the Zelda's. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult, seeing as how there's not as many. There's not like, you don't have the Mega Man's and the the Mega, the Mega Men's and the Castlevanias. You know, so it's not like eight things on the list are gonna get done so easily. Nope, get out. He's such a punk this way yeah yeah but if you're trying to do top 10 okay so luigi's mansion i mean i guess it depends i think that luigi's mansion sales wise was pretty good it does have a little bit of a reception problem um but it's interesting because like like in the gamecube era like people who are my age were like oh fuck this is luigi this is not a mario game this sucks but, like, the kids who grew up with that game, they like it. You know, like, it's different for them. They're down for it. Uh, so it's interesting to see that, like, generational switch, you know. Or just, like, the the people wearing different glasses. Fuck. This is getting difficult. All right, here we go. I do like that I'm right here. Fuck. Okay, got you once. He gets he gets pissed when you actually get a hit in. Okay. Oh, Jay is up in this. I hope those blurps are working. Affiliate Jay is here. Twitch affiliate, lawless affiliate. This this man is affiliated. All right, Jay, we're 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 kind of like talking GameCube. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, Luigi's Mansion is great. Is it like are are there? Is it something that deserves to be on the top ten? Not like of your heart, but like brain wise. This fucker. Okay, I'm using the life spell. What is up, Jay? Yes, there you go. Hell yeah. You got the, uh, you got it all, man. Your affiliate, you got the emotes. You were quick with those full color emotes, dude. That's good. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, but maybe it does, because now, okay, but, but also, so, like, does Mario Sunshine get on that list? Like, renowned wise, it does. Yeah, it's definitely a contender, right? Fair in mind of that GameCube or Wii games, because I never put a GameCube game. Oh, yeah, 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 because you can play them on Wii, right. 
yeah. That'll be an interesting one, though, because it will be a fight of, like, which first-party games are better. You know, I mean, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess will definitely get on there. Jay, I bet you got Twilight Princess on GameCube, didn't you? Stop. You're a development console purist, this motherfucker. Oh, God, come on. Think I won't do it again? I will. Turn around. I have to actually fucking pay attention to this shit. Yeah. Throw it low and do it. Fuck. Holy shit. Yeah, early tomorrow morning. Yeah, I knew you did. Yeah, just 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 type G V and be be done with it. Fuck. Um I'm doing this again. It is what it is. I'm going to have to take the, the death and then jump back down in there. Fuck. Yeah, words aren't easy, man. You just got to stop wording. Word less, you know. This game has a level of difficulty that is legitimate. Oh. That's how you do that. Oh. Look at that. Perfect. 100 uh, experience points. So how was that uh, El Shaddai game or whatever it is? Is it top 10 like Colt says? <laughs> also, the other thing is that like top 10 for a console is not like... We should not be thinking about that of, of does this have a chance in the top 50. If we're going to do that, we might as well just think every game... What, what, you know, only go through the games that have a chance to be top 50 games. Oh, okay, run. Just fucking go. Clink, clink, clink. Well, is there something up there? Fuck. You still get hit by that. Magic of Scheherazade. 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 Okay, Magic of Scheherazade. Uh, actually really fun and cool for what it offers. Yeah, it seemed like uh, the overworld was Zelda and the battle system was Final Fantasy with a, um, like, bank system. Oh, fuck. I, I can't even uh, block these things, can I? This is what you do. Oh, shit. Okay, fuck. This is not going to be enough to do jack shit. You good, you good. I appreciate that lurk. Uh, innovative as hell, yeah. Like, or is it just... I'm not saying it's not innovative. I'm just trying to make the... Like, ask the question. Is it innovative, or is it just like... It sticks a bunch of stuff together? I guess that's innovative. Is that innovative? We're going to have to crack down on what innovative means. You know? Fuck. Oh, fuck. It makes the combat styles in a fun way. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so this isn't the actual... Oh yeah, I got the, the sword laser. Let's do it. This isn't the actual, you know, thing. We're just thinking about it for PS2. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas has to be on the list, right? It has to be. And then Little Fox Waifu brought up Okami. It did not work together, I would say. Oh, if it did not work together. Okay, I gotcha, yeah. So you're 100% sold on that. Fuck, get out. Oi. Alright, alright. Strike him down. Oh. Yeah. But, you know, innovation is just one thing. I want to actually take some games to the metric, you know? Like, actually take some games to the metric. Because that's one thing, is like, I've noticed in me and Pop's arguments, it's like... 
it'll be like one like I feel like I'm getting accused of saying that sales only matter are the only thing that matters you know and I'm just saying hey that's one metric where it's gonna score high or low yeah that's that's it's like you wonder I mean you can still appreciate it now you know I was really digging the shit graphics and um, the shitty great graphics and uh, hotel dusk fuck this idiot fuck you can actually like strike oh shit it's like the final uh, boss battle in uh, Skyward Sword. You actually can, like, in that battle, you can block Demise's hits and attack at the same time. Like, it's so uh, simultaneous. Come here. What about the Super Monkey Ball games? Yeah. Oh, fuck. The thing about the Super Monkey Ball games is it, it's basically like Marble Madness, you know? As, uh... Like, with a little bit... With the franchise idea that's a little bit better. Sort of. I mean, I really dig Monkey Ball 1 and 2. And then, you know, the, it goes downhill after that, supposedly. But also, Monkey 1 had uh, Monkey Target, which was fucking great. And then in 2, they kind of fucked it up. Or it, they didn't fuck it up in two. It just wasn't as good as in one. This motherfucker. I, I guess I could ferry and just get over him. Let's do that. We're gonna go over and we go right through the door. Look at that. Fuck, he still hit me. Oh, oh, there it is. There's still a boss in here, though. Hotel Dusk. Yeah, well, that's what I was asking you last night, like, what you, f how you felt about, like, a proper 3D remake of that game. Nice. Just ferry all the way out of here. Magic works for one room tile. That's it. Alright, where's the boss at? Uh... Like, I could see it le losing the charm, you know. But it's weird. You can tell Sing was like a like a really low, low run studio at first, and that's a Wada's baby, you know. Like that was a Wada studio. All right, fuck. Let's go. What's in? Oh shit! This bullshit. Okay. Most of them want to keep the same style. Just redo the tracks, the music, and smooth it out. Yeah. Fuck. Look at that pro shit there. I'm doing bad though, having no. You guys need to get out. Oh god, fuck. Hi. Okay, so this time I am not going to. Um, Start over, because I got the raft. Do we have it? Yes, we do. I still have to go back there, though. Yeah, um, but you know, they would, like, remake it. Like, like this is a game that could totally be remade with that uh, fucking Link's Awakening engine. Easy. It'd actually really benefit from it, because they could do a little bit more to spruce up the 2D sections. Go. Look at that. Look at that skin colored hair. Hair grass. Oh, wait. I'm going down this way. There's something. I need something. These motherfuckers. Get out. Wish they were more than 10. Go. Wow. No, fuck. I thought I was falling. What? There we go. Wait, I, I walked over that before. It's weird that it didn't, it didn't do its thing. 
scary. Anyway, Jay, you got something in mind for the uh, armor set you want to make? Also, yeah, you definitely got to. I got to. You got to get on that um, trace memory. Other saying shit. So, do we have then the nest down, or is it something that we're gonna have to go to the metrics with? I mean, like, that's saying, like, does Kirby's Adventure not belong there? Here's this fucking... Oi, these boys. Get out. Low block. Get. Woo. Uh, yeah, like, some kind of defensive monster. Just something for better defense, you know? Or like, wait, what, what weapon are you using? I mean, I, I do feel like Punch-Out should get on that list. But I, I think the, the one of the only reasons that I feel that way... Fucker, get out of here. I'm not even going to fuck with that right now. You I will definitely fuck with. Come on. Ow. Fucking shit. Holy shit. That was a bad idea. Sword and shield. Yeah, yeah. Sword and shield boy. That's right. Hmm. Like, maybe something that has, like, uh... It's not a very fun skill, but, like... Something that, you know, uses the advantages of sword and shield, obviously. So, like, uh, efficacy of health items is better. But that's something you can eat for. You can eat for that skill. Anyway, yeah. Punch-out's a tough fight. Um... If, uh, if everybody just can't agree on it, then we'll make it a top 20, and then and then everything gets in. The, the, at, well, sort of. I mean, if you make it a top 20, these fucking rat motherfuckers, they're like dagger rats. Bipedal dagger rat soldiers. Uh, then when you get down to the, like, if, if it gets to that, then it's like, I'm going to start saying shit like, Chippendales Rescue Rangers and bullshit like that. Good bullshit like that. And if you get to the top 20, you're literally running the risk of that Ninja Turtles game getting in there. No, fuck. And I'm gonna need that fairy later, so I can't fuck around with this. Hop up, jump over him, hop up, hop up. Damn, you can jump high as fuck in this game, even without. Even without the jumping spell. Get the fuck out of my face. Whew. God damn. Yeah, yeah, that's a yeah, no to that shit, right? Okay, we're going this way, I guess. It's just... It's just such a... I was watching someone play it the other day. I was watching someone stream it. And, uh, you know, it's not so bad, it's just not good. Like that fucking water section with the, like, air canister things that you have to hit. It's doable, I even did it as a kid, it was just like, holy fuck, it was difficult. Okay, these boys get out, and then there's a red guy here, there's a red armor, a red, uh, dark nut. That was a lot easier. What's over here? Those fucking heads. They can get like on a plane on a on an axie that you can't get at sometimes. Fuck. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, at least I can jump back up there. Is there something in here? Or did I miss it? I think I already missed this fucking thing. Hey, what's up? Wow, how do you say... You... Well, hold on, let me, let me try to get this. Wait, how do you say... Do, you, do people just call you dark? I bet you get that all the time. You spend all that time on the, all those numbers, and people are just going to call you dark. Yes, it's Zelda. You like this game? Did you like it on release? I fucking love this game, Dark. 
Oh, we're, we're, I'm gonna have a problem here. Oh, this is where I got fucking killed last time. This is absurd. And by absurd, I mean, you know, it's moderately difficult and totally fair. Holy fuck, the scrolling shit is not fair. All right, we're trying this again. Oh, Dark Ivy. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is a great game. Okay, okay, okay. So, so you're here, so let me ask you the question then. I don't even need to be in this room. Um, so if you were to make a definitive top 10 list for NES games, would this game be on the top 10? Now, don't think about... Not, not like you're the, the, the top 10 in your heart, right? Not in Dark Ivy's, like, love. Since Game Boy... Wait, Game Boy Zelda? You're talking about... Uh, you're talking about Link's Awakening. Game Boy Color, right? Uh, let's just do it. Free life, why not? Nice, look at that. Number one. The OG. That this is a prequel. That this is a sequel to. Um, okay, so listen. Wait, wait, wait. You're saying this game would be number one? But, but hold on. Like, I know you, you love it. Okay, I love it too. But what I'm asking you is, and I'm not trying to get you to, if it's, if it's number one to you, if you want to make that case, do it. But like, uh, like of uh, all the NES games, right? Like popularity wise, like on the metrics of like popularity. Um, yeah, them dagger rats. Yeah, they don't, they don't, do they, wait, they steal your XP? Is that true? Look at this bullshit happening to me right now. Oh my God. This is fucking absurd. Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We'll do it again. So I have to take care of that blue knight first. We go real quick, like, do this. So, of all the games that are on the con, absolutely number one. So, do you think like, if if one of the criteria is fan reception, would you say this is number one? Okay, because so because here's the thing, Dark Ivy. Okay, in our Discord, right? We're doing a like top 50 definitive games, right? Definitively top 50 video games of all time, right? Um, let's continue. And so we're starting first by doing the top, definitive top 10 on the console. And the criteria is as follows. Industry impact, refinement, innovation, sales, um, and I guess we're adding popularity. I feel like that's a weird, I don't feel like it's we, uh, we, uh, reception, let's say, reception. Based on those criteria, do you think it's number one? Like, I mean, to me, uh, this is a better game than uh, OG Zelda because the combat's better and there's magic spells, which makes it a better RPG in my opinion. Go, go, go. And you can turn into a fucking fairy, which is amazing. But I don't think, like, all, all, by those metrics, Zelda 1 beats this game out. Even though I don't like it as much. Oh, God. Fuck this dude. I mean, he's easy to... Zelda, number 1 is Zelda. Number 2 is Star Fox. Number 3 is Mario. But, but, but you... Like, if you had to rank them in order of, like, popularity, of course Mario would be first, wouldn't you say? So you're a star? Ooh, hey, it was. it's not always the same. Okay. Hell yeah. Well, let's try this. It's not going to fill me up all the way. It did. So red is totally full. You're a Star Fox fan. Where did Star Fox stop happening? Like, where did Star Fox get shitty? Man, I, I love the fucking original Star Fox. I remember when that game came out. One of the kids in my classroom had it, and he was telling. I, I was like, "This kid is rich. He's got little, literal, 3D graphics game. Zelda's number one. Yeah, yeah, but 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 like worldwide, you know, Mario is like a little popular probably than Zelda. Like if you look at sales numbers and like renown and stuff like that. Did you, so how do you feel about Breath of the Wild? Are you a massive Breath of the Wild fan, or are you like no? 
you say family too, that means your brothers and sisters or, or your mom and dad are playing this game. This game is fucking great. High and low sword strike combat. Oh, Breath of the Wild's like, eh, okay, interesting. It takes all kinds, it's crazy, like, I love Breath of the Wild, and I love this game. I can't... There's not really a Zelda I don't like. You know, it's tough to clear these things. Jump down this thing. But maybe, like, uh... You know, they're not all equal, clearly. Some are better than others. Wait, oh, it's going this way, right? I'm gonna go down that other elevator. Stop. Here. I mean, but some people think, some people hate Skyward Sword. You know, and some people hate Phantom Hourglass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what they mean. I mean, you know, there's a lot of money spent on the game, so it's not like they're a bad game. But I will say, like, if a studio is spending a lot of money on a game and it's not great, like, I'm not totally against people saying, like, a little bit saying, eh, it's bad. Just, it's like, man, if you spend a lot of time developing a game, let it be good. Okay, so, the only thing I can do here, fuck, I really don't want to fight... I don't want to fuck with him. Holy fuck. They're different, just not bad yet. Like, most people don't seem to like spirit tracks. I need a defense spell, that's what I need. Also need just like a good run with this guy. There we go. Fuck. Uh, that actually wasn't so bad. Rude boy, what is up? Yeah, rude boy. Oh, I didn't realize. I, I didn't realize you were Taco. That's where I've seen you. Okay, we we. This is this is ball shit right here. Simply Super Dave, what is up? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. So, this, Simply Super Dave, this is, like, something to add to, uh, to the top 50, right? So, most people are saying Metal Gear Solid, uh, you guys, I've realized from watching, uh, Rude Boy that, uh, uh he's A game and I'm B game, because I don't have the shout-out shit. Um, but I'm pretty sure everybody here has <laughs> already followed you. Uh, but if you're not following each other, you're pissing me the fuck off. It's just pissing me off. Just follow each God, would you just follow each other? Anyway, um, yeah, he's a taco king. Uh, stop, brother guy. You, be you better walk on so I can see you, son. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know how to do it. I'm just, I'm, I'm just lazy as fuck, and I'm not a, I'm not, I'm a streamer first and a promoter second. That's the problem. Yeah, I think you are, Super Dave. Here we go, the mean streets. That's right. Oh, and also, Mitch is here too, so... <laughs> Double up on it, shit, why not? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Uh, okay, so... Uh, I was actually going to make the case for this, too. Is this the dude that rides through? I think so. Yeah, look at that shit. If you don't have downstab here, you're kind of fucked. Come on. And then he just turns into regular Blue Knight after this, which is actually annoyingly difficult. So, with Metal Gear... I mean, I haven't played any of those games, right? But I feel like that's tough, because... It's like the first one started it. Wait, what? What have is this? What have is this? Yeah, Jay up in this shit. Uh, <laughs> you're rolling, son. Uh, 
like Metal Gear Solid One, like started that. Like, it's like the first. You know, it's like iconic because it's the first one. I mean, the graphics are kind of, kind of bonk, kind of bork now. Oh god, this fucker. Okay, okay. So he's he basically functions just like a red one. Fuck, why didn't I do it? I gotta remember the low shit. Fucking shit! Okay, I think I've got one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good, we're good, we're good. Right. That's what I was gonna say, Super Dave. And then, yeah, here's Jay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's the thing. So, I mean, that really speaks to the quality of the games, you know. The, the plug your controller into the port. One of the things about doing a top, uh, definitive top list is like, it's like absolute spoiler hell, you know. Did somebody say tacos? So, okay, so this is, that's, this is awesome because those three games were all on PS2, is that right? No, 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 Metal Gear Solid 1 was on PS1. So how do you do it? It's like the birth of the series. I got you some ice cream. <laughs> Here we go. We did it, Dad, ice cream. I gotta be quiet for those, I gotta let them happen. Uh, so how do you pick, right? Because wasn't Metal Gear Solid 2 did like an insane like, didn't it have some insane fourth wall breaking shit? I, I think this guy's not gonna be able to make this. I wish I had the defense spell. Popo up in here. Got oofed. Is that for laugh? Is that was that a, a super late oof? Most loved or most popular? Um. Wait, wait. This game or are you talking about the Metal Gear stuff? Rude Boy's gonna get, like, up in his shit about an, uh, an argument like this, though. Like, if you get fucking inked, you gotta, you, you, you gotta prove it to yourself, right? Oh, come on. Damn. Fuck. Okay, okay, hold on, shit. Oh fuck, I gotta get these hits out. I'm gonna fucking die again. Holy fuck. World's greatest cat dad. Man, I can't tell you how what a fucking hilarious name that is. I, I mean, I can, because, you know, I just did, but... Fuck, we're going back. I love this game, though. Yes, incoming raid. Uh, I have had COVID, so I think that contracting raids will probably be fine for me. All right. We're, uh, Cat Dad, thank you so much for the raid. Whoever's here, it's me, 100 years early. Uh, I don't know what that what that really means, but we're playing Zelda 2, so uh, it is what it is, right? All right. And he's, he's the world's greatest cat dad. How many cats do you actually have? like uh, Rage and Red Rocksteady. This dude. You have a cat cam too. I know that's true. Okay, okay, okay. So back to Metal Gear. Cat Dad, anyone rating from Cat Dad's thing, follow everybody here. Uh, and then also feel free to jump in this conversation. Okay, so what, if you can... If you can only, I'll do this to make it fucking difficult as fuck. If you can only have one, if you can, if you can, if you have to Highlander the Metal Gear Solid series, which gets to be there? This motherfucker, I should just run right past him. Get out. I have not played the games, right? And so, two cats, that's perfect. You do, you are the greatest dad. You love them. You didn't get more than two. That's too, more than two is too much. 
You're just a you're you're just a great cat person. You, you're not a crazy cat person. You love those boys, the furry boys. All right. So yeah. So which is it? I need to know the answer to this question. Uh, we are going to life up. Boom. It did not refill all my life. What the fuck? Yeah, so, uh, it's like, Jay, what is the case for Metal Gear Solid 3? Like, best story, or better story, or, like, I, we, we may end up needing more metrics, or, or, or really go into it. What is up, Asian one, up in the house, welcome, please, you need to weigh in on this. Wait, Snake Eater, that's the GameCube, isn't that the Game, or no, that's Twin Snakes, right? Why, why do people hate on that GameCube remake? Is that the theme song that got, uh, the, um, copyright strike? Fuck it, how does the fire go through the fucking brick? The jungle stuff, like crawling through the jungle and shit, the jungle camp, because that's the first one that had the, the camo shit, right? Snake Eater is the complete package. Tell me about this. Like, this is the third game, but like a better version of it or something? Get out, son. Stop throwing clubs. You guys are all about this song. That, I think that's going to be a series where I f I, I'm going to really feel like I missed out. Get the fuck out. Oh, I hate that I cannot hit them from low like that. Fuck. You got to be fucking kidding me. Ugh. Fine. Oh, fucking shit. Theme song the best yet. Awesome. So, so wait. Wait, wait, wait. Are y'all... I gotta switch to my... OG Chris P. Taco. So you changed your name today? Thanks. I appreciate that alert. Mega big time. I love that uh, first time chatter thing. Although, uh, you, you get that. I was in... Um, what's his name? Fuck, I can't remember his name. I'm following too many people now. Oh, fuck. It's gonna bother me. Anyway, he was he got like uh you know, a, you wanna be famous spot and it's like it says, Oh, it's a first time chatter and so you start like being nice to him and then it's like, Oh, you motherfucker. TGN tag, what is that? Oh god, no, fucking shit. Like, what a terrible rotation I got into. Uh, I was so into 2 when it came out, I didn't stop playing for a week straight. Like, that's when a fucking game has you, has you nuts, right? A resounding yes to Metal Gear Solid 3. Okay, hold on. So, but Mitch was saying the thing about the second player controller for Psycho Manus. Isn't that the first one? Oh, but we're just taking three in as a series. Okay, and so no one's vouching for four. It, four is no one's favorite game. And I'm not even going to ask about five because I don't want to get hit. That's what my mom taught me that when I was young. She was like, son, talk shit. Don't talk shit, my son. I can't hit you, but I can have other people hit you. Oh, fuck. I hate this. This, this, this part. It's really difficult. Okay, I did the right thing. Maybe I should have waited. They got what? Resident Evil collab on Fortnite. Oh, whew. Focused on one point. <laughs> yeah, it, it makes you better in the end, though. See, because like, I figured that out. Like the trick there is you gotta you gotta short hop uh, slice. Ooh, that's not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna tell myself that that's not a lot. The Batman that lasts. Yeah, that's right. You had to pay bits for that. I need to get a bunch of those on here. Brother guy, what is up? What, what's up with you? You you should be spamming the chat with a. Uh, you had, a, you had a long day today. Okay, so Metal Gear Solid 3. So that will be one. Clearly that's on the top 10 for PS2. 
By the way, we're just sort of like rough drafting PS2 for fun right now. GTA uh, San Andreas. I remember, Super Dave, we were talking about this when you were in here last. <laughs> what the fuck is Sons of Liberty? Also, what were those PSP Metal Gear games? No one, uh, Acid. No one wants to drop Acid in the... I guess that probably won't even be in PSP Top 10, will it? San Andreas, yeah. Okay, so Warriors 2, Brother Guy. Make the case. Use the metrics. Popularity. That's the new metric. Fuck. Okay, I gotta... Oh, no, he, he goes right away. Pop, 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 pop. Fuck. Can I life? Nope. Okay, I see. Damn. Four is more of an end to a series that it played on nostalgia, and the others not so bad. The most epic moment in that game was the final fight with Liquid, the, the old man battle. Yeah. Metal Gear Rex vs. Ray was like a battle between old and new gems going at it. Okay. But no one's putting that in. It's a great movie. Did you get to play like a game? But, 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 brother guy. But is it, how popular is it, and what were the sales? No, I saw uh, the beginning of uh, Act 2 is uh, playable for t 15 minutes. I don't know if you guys have seen uh, Matthew Matosis, but he does a crazy breakdown of uh, of all of, of those games up to four in the series. What what did it change about your life? I don't I don't like someone saying that a game that a, that a movie game changed their life the way um, Ocarina of Time changed my life. It bothers me. Okay, so Metal Gear Solid 3 is on there. San Andreas? Someone denies San Andreas should be a PS2 top 10. Metal, Metal Gear Solid 4. Yeah, yeah, I remember people... Yeah, it was like Metal Gear Solid 4 and Blu-ray Trojan Horse shit. Just fun here? Okay, yeah, fair, fair enough, fair enough. This motherfucker. Vice City. So, okay. Is... But is it more popular? Fuck you, motherfucker. So, I have to, like, actually hit M block at the same time. Fuck. Are we life? We life. Okay. Okay, I can do this. Fuck. If I hadn't gotten hit by that, I would have been in a lot better place. Damn it. God damn it. You know what? I don't give a fuck. I'm going right back there. PS2 game. Okay, San Andreas, Metal Gear Solid 3, Kingdom Hearts 2, a Ratchet and Clank game, a Jax game. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I, I got some more to throw out, okay? Ico and Shadow of the Colossus. Listen, you know I got my ear to the ground. Popo. Popo. <laughs> Vouching for Jack and Daxter. Is Jack and Daxter really going to get in the top 10? What about, uh, what's the other? The Crash games. They're not going to get in there, but Jack and Daxter will. I've never played a Jack and Daxter game. I watched uh, Kenny Nick's tape. A uh, good friend of mine. Some people in here are better friends than me. I watched him play that the newest one, which looked fucking crazy. The graphics were insane. Maybe we want to get a PS5. It's the only thing I've seen. I'm sure I'd love the Demon Souls remake or whatever, but whatever. Silver Cry! God, these motherfucking... Like, what are they? They're like little pill shell bugs or something? Alright. Twisted Metal Black. Right. Okay, so Shadow of the Colossus, right? 
Crash was PS1, all of it? There was no Crash on PS2? Fuck. Son of a bitch. Give me this. Oh, I need you to scroll the fuck out of the screen, son. We'll do it. I should have just bounced. There we go. There we go. There's no reason not to pick up that 30, you know? GTA 3 should be on the list before San Andreas, because 3 was the first 3D one. Okay. What about Vice City? No, Mega Man X7. Get out of here. You know that's not going to be on the list. You, you, you had not even played that game, brother guy. You don't want that game on the list anyway. Yeah, right. You've hurt. You fucking hurt Jay. Wait, which crash sucked? Is it one from the trilogy? I was wanting to get. I, I was hoping that. I was hoping that, like, my naive childhood sense would be wrong and that Crash would be awesome. And I'd have a whole quadrilogy of content to. Uh, fuck you. Fuck off. Loading times were terrible on PS2 Crash. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Devil May Cry is like... Wait, wait. DMC 1 was... You know, <laughs> brother guy, I want you to chill really hard for uh, Jade's Cocoon. Like, I'm going to be... Like, high levels of disappoint if you don't push like Pop did for Punch-Out. It's got to be bigger than that. Kratos is, yeah, okay, so, yeah, Kratos is, he's big enough to get in the PlayStation Battle All-Stars Royale uh, Mega Mix uh, Superfoods, right? Everybody loves that game. Everybody's waiting on the sequel to that game. Anyway, yeah, there's a lot of, I mean, that console, like, really has a lot to do with games getting, like, more popularized mainstream. Can you get the fuck out of here? I have no magic and no fucking health. Prince of Persia. Uh, is that Sands of Time? Go. Get out. You. Leave. Uh, that was multi-platform. That was on GameCube also. Whew. This is not good. All the way around. All the way around, it's not good. Gotcha. Max Payne. No, no, no. Max Payne is not going to get on there. It invented bullet. What? It'll be interesting to see what the fuck I don't know. And then what uh, Final Fantasy game? Is, is X not getting considered here? Sands of Time. Okay. God, if I don't get some fucking health, there's no way I'm getting through this next section here. X2? No, stop. You need to quit. That's my favorite Final Fantasy game that I've never played. Wait, wasn't... Uh... Is 12 on that system also? What's it called? Revenant Wings? There's some other, like, what other Square Enix properties are on there? Oh, it's Kingdom Hearts, right, of course. Fuck. True Crime Streets of LA. But uh, we're just throwing shit out. Now. Are these top 10 candidates for real? Oh my god, would you get up there? You say he like barely get up there. Like, imagine scra like jumping and scraping your toe up on a ledge like that. Terrible. I'm gonna wait till he turns around. Okay. Uh, could be worse. Hey, we got a pee bag out of it too. Uh, Goldeneye was um, uh, 64, right? Yeah. What Resident Evil games were on there? Okay. So Kingdom Hearts. Let's let's. Is that gonna be on the list? How many do we have? Fucking one. Okay. Fine. Huh. Jump won't really help. 
But 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 Goldeneye was 64, right? That that game will definitely be. I would imagine that game could get in the top 50, just based on like making first-person shooter multiplayer co-op split screen possible with the 64 controller. Goldeneye 2 is on PS2, okay. Like, this part of the fight's so fucking easy, and then just those regular... Like, fighting that dude before this is just... It's, it's the same battle. Goldeneye 2! That's not as renowned as Goldeneye, though, right? Surely it's not. Strike this fucker. Right? Where were you at, Jay? That was my chance to hit. He comes to the other fucking side of the screen. Did you see that shit? That's just Zelda optical loot. That's just like badness bullshit. Badness processing. Fuck. It's like, I need to get it so that every time he's running all the way to the end of the screen. Every time I like almost get a hit, every time I get hit, I need to make sure he takes a hit. Pop, pop, pop. make it this time, but it's good practice. Follow me. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, good. Wait, DOA, uh, dead or alive? Multiplayer not as good. Yeah, what about fighting games, too? We have to think about fucking fighting games. Okay, so let's let's think about the genres because I think one of the things is, uh, wait, what's SOE? Look how fucking hyped you guys for PS are for PS2. There were there, like like there were other fighters on there too, like Guilty Gear, right? Come on, son. Okay, that was an entire hit. That was another. Capcom versus SNK. It's on Dreamcast, too. That's one of those games where it's like, as a fighting game aficionado, like, it's fun, but it's got some, like, problems. If you're, if you just, like, peripherally like SNK and Street Fighter, it's a fun ass game. If you are like a mega fan of King of Fighters or Street Fighter, then it's got some like issues that are like, it doesn't mean you wouldn't play it, but you know. Fuck, would you go? Yeah, come on. Closer. You just gonna stay right there? I can block this shit all day. I gotta look at it like it's literally just you pushing down sometimes. That's it. Fuck, I'm not gonna do it. Holy fuck! Rosalani, what is up? Okay, Rosalani, did you play. Yeah, Street Fighter EX3. You got all these weird ass, weird ass fucking things. State of emergency. I've never seen that. With the red coat. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, Devil May Cry. Okay, so like, 
I guess I'd say DMC3 would be on there, but I, I haven't. I can't. I don't really feel like I have the uh, the license to say. Uh, we're talking about top 10 PS2 games of all time. Definitive top 10. Most pop. Just try starting with most popular PS2 games within reason, please. Manhunt. Yeah. They're still making those games, right? Didn't it, didn't one of those come out like not too long ago? Go on, get out of here. It's almost like I need to go get the defense spell. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of my face. Rosalani, how you doing? Fucking shit. Yeah, fall down. Goddamn. Odin Sphere. Is that the. That's by the people that made. Uh, Muramasa the Demon Blade, right? Alright, fairy time. A huge range of them, but there's some fun ones. Okay, Ratchet and Clank. How many Ratchet and Clanks are on there? More than one? I feel like there's so many fucking games on that system, it's going to be really difficult to pick. It's like got the opposite of GameCube's problem. GameCube is going to be It's going to be hard to nail down. There's going to be too many games to put on the PS2 list and it's going to be like you're not going to find enough on the GameCube. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Burnout 3 is the shit. So, but do you think there are 10 games that are better? Yeah, I was, I was like, no one's bringing up the Sly Cooper, but Sly, Sly is like, uh, it's like clearly underneath Ratchet and, uh, and Jack and Daxter, right? As far as popularity is concerned. Right, Tekken, like, you have to think of the fighting games, right? I mean, Capcom was going downhill there, but I mean, there is like, I mean, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is on there, right? Fight for New York. Fuck. These assholes. Get out. Get out. Fucking shit. Go, go, go. Oh, my God. The rats are... The, the fucking rat daggers are too much. Of course, he had to have played Def Jam. He's marked. Fuck. Killed by a fucking brick. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Rude Boy's got the top ten. I'm gonna read this. PS2, Metal Gear Solid, wait, 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 number one, Metal Gear Solid 3, this is Rude Boy's opinion, God of War, GTA 3, Kingdom Hearts, WWE Smackdown, Here Comes the Pain, Dragon Ball Budokai, okay, now we're, it's, this is, this is Rude Boy's fan fiction here, Mortal Kombat Deception, Fight Night Round 3, Need for Speed Underground, we are now, we, you, you have now witnessed uh, Rude Boy Mitch's heart at work. We love him for that. Uh, here lies Mitch. He had a couple bad takes, and he also was able to come to uh, a few correct answers in his life. Thank you, Mitch. When the community will never forget your legacy. <laughs> you guys, like, in, in, on, a, on a system where... Well, I mean, uh, probably Tenkaichi Budokai 2 was probably the... So, so here's what, here's the case that I'll make for that game, is that Toonami was playing Dragon Ball Z at that. Wait, what? You you, you are backing uh, Tenkaichi Budokai 2 as one of the top 10 games for PS2? Okay, okay. Gallop Racer 6. What is that? Okay, you gotta, like, actually throw yourself at this dude. <laughs> Care with the bits. Right, where are the Star Wars games? That's one that will come up on 64, right? Or, no, 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 no. Which is the really fucking dank, the graphically dank-ass Star Wars game? Was it? I think it was GameCube, right? You talking to OG Budokai? Okay. Oh yeah, you had all the numbers in there, so it looked a little difficult or it's hard to understand completely. 
like here's where I'll see right thank you Rosalani like as someone who doesn't me, you and me are the ones who haven't played this system fuck I'm fucking this up bad you motherfucker black was a personal favorite on PS2 wait what which what is black I like the fact that it was a chess game for fighting, so it was a game for its time. Fair enough. I mean, like, so the, that's that's the issue is if you really dig a certain genre, you know, then you're gonna shill for the genre by like saying other things are like poor imitations. So like, as someone who's really big, I'm really big into 2D fighting games, Mitch. So like, when people shill for Budokai, I'm like, ugh. Like, I don't even want to fucking play Tekken. But, but I, I'm i just looking at it from that, uh, you know, just sort of asshole perspective. Killzone started on that? Dance Dance Revolution. Sh sh that, that's a, yeah, where the, where the, like, Dance Dance Revolution, like, where the fuck is that? No one's talking about that because they don't like to move? Is that what it is? A lot of these games will sound like they're in there, and then if you run the metrics, you know, um, then if you actually run the metrics, then it's another story. Because that's the thing is like, we're we're fighting in Lawless about uh, whether or not this game deserves to be on the top ten. Okay, and so the the argument against this game is that it's not popular. That's the argument against the game, right? But this is the fifth best-selling game on NES. Did you hear me fucking kick somebody's knees out with that? I got you in the kneecaps with that. Okay, come here, motherfucker. Okay, get over here. Fuck. Life. Follow me. So, and then this game also, I would say, like, innovates in certain areas. Do we do it? Yeah, finally. Holy fuck. Damn, look at that. That's crazy looking. Give me that key. So, you know, when you win, don't celebrate too hard, right? It's just, you did it. You know, it's regular. These Moab heads are crazy. These Easter Island heads are crazy. Red Dead Redemption. Wait, was that PS2? Well, yeah, so that's the thing. Ro oh. We're going, yeah, we're going fucking attack. Look at that. Attack 5? Hell yeah. Yeah, we done it. GG's. I mean, it's not even that difficult. It's just uh, particular, you know? But, I mean, it's difficult enough for me to get pissy a couple times about it, right? So, that's something. Uh, anyway, so my point was, should this game be on the top ten or punch out? That's the argument. And so, it's like, it's not just one metric. Like, this game was not popular, right? But it sold really well. So, it's like, our sales... Sales and popularity, like, I would argue are not the same. You know, like sort of i guess I, I don't i don't know maybe i'm it's like y y there's this there's this you know part of the, the the like liberal bleeding heart side of anyone is like no it's not just good because it sells well because like you know like nobody wants to like no, you know you don't want to buy pokemon cards or or uh whatever you know you don't want to you don't want to support Beyblade or whatever, whatever thing you think is stupid that's really popular because kids like it. Oh yeah, we're going here. We got the fucking raft. Hell yeah, we're going here. Okay, so so wait, sales are just one facet. Yes, black and buff up in this. What is up? Uh, I just want you guys to know that uh, this is a new, like. Some people are just streamers. Like, I'm just a streamer, right? Like, I just, like, if the lady with the red dress on, I go in there, you know, she can, she restores my life, we do our thing, I move on, right? Black and Buff's not like that. Black and Buff 
has seasons, all right? This is the sketched out season. Gotta jump. Yeah, do your thing, Rude Boy. I appreciate the alert for sure. Uh, let's see. Um, so, yeah, so you guys, you have to understand that, uh, you know, it's, it's, he's a little more, he's, he's more seasoned. He's got seasoned, and this seasoned is more sketched out than before. Uh, so go follow my man, Black and Buff. We do analog shoutouts here. Lurking. That's a taco lurk. Uh, mochi. No one's mentioned Crazy Taxi. Not a bit. You know, we got much love for you, Black and Buff. You know that. I've been, uh, I've, I've been slacking on, uh, being in your streams, I had some shit going on at work, actually, for once last week, but, uh, but I was up in there today. Simpsons Hit and Run. Uh, Black and Buff, we're talking about the top 10, definitive top 10 PS2 games. And, I mean, I think we've mentioned, like, fuck, we've got how many, like, so Rude Boy posted his list. I don't know how many, um... I don't know how many we've got though. So we, so it is. Uh, let's see. Metal Gear Solid Three. W w what is the, be the 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 most popular PS2 game? There's one. What is it? Give me this. We we cross the fucking uh, ocean here. Yeah, but you know, you know what it is. We wanna. We, I want. I want to support. And also, you got fun fucking streams, man. They're hilarious. If I had thought of that laugh track, man, I would have had it. I'm not going to steal it from you. Get out of here. Eyeballs. Ooh, what kind of XP do they have? 20, that's trash. That's garbage XP. Def Jam Fight. Yeah, so we mentioned that. Fight for New York. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else? And then, so... Do you have any? Do you have a hot take on which Grand Theft Auto Three or uh, San Andreas? I feel like San Andreas is the one that I heard about the most. Oh, that fucking river beast! Come here. We finally got these tech dikes here. These things look like like there's two different sprites. One for the legs. Go on, get out. Vendetta. An icon, what? Right, what are, what are the what are the big fucking sports games? Black and Buff, do you play sports games, Black and Buff? I've never seen you, I've only seen you play shooters. These fuck. oh man, you can't hit that. Okay, hold on. I'm not fucking with that scorpion shit. Yeah, bully, right. Yeah, yeah, that's another, yeah, like, I'm trying to, like, there are, like, alternative Rockstar games also, right? Get the fuck out. But, but, like, so, the, this is, like, not supposed to be, like, your favorite top ten. This is supposed to be, like, the definitive, oh, shit, free payback. This is supposed to be, like, the most popular, like, I mean, what we're trying to do is get, like, the in between of the most popular game, like the sales wise and like industry like impact and all that stuff. What was it, Black and Buff? What was the last sports game you played? Vice was your favorite, but but is that the most well known? Oh, this dude, what's up, buddy? With boots. I could walk on the water. All right. Uh, we don't have boots. Okay, sure. Do this so I can get this beeping out of my fucking face. Thank you. All right. Whew. Finally. NBA Street. There's just too much. Uh... Yeah, come on. Take me home. Hey. Wait, I am thirsty. <laughs> yeah, you are. Thirsty as hell. Look at you. Want to get some water? Uh, yeah. Did I do it? 
Yeah, you totally have this water. That makes it. That's yeah. That's why you want me to come to your house. Jack and Daxter combat racing. Okay, so uh, mascot racer. So that was good, huh? Surely that's not the last sports game we played. Okay, we getting defense spell here, please. Oh, hell yeah. Well, that works. So make your sword shoot fire. That actually doesn't sound uh, like it feels good. We got it now, anyway. So these spells, like, should last longer than one screen. That's kind of a problem. Okay, uh, well... We'll have to take it to the metrics. Jump in a hole. Wait, wait, come back, son. Tell me secrets. Running away like that. No, 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 no. No, no, we're definitely not only doing sports games. No, I want the top... You know... I'm trying to get the very the very top end. Like I want a de definitive top games. Let's see. But PlayStation 2, that's just gonna be difficult. It's like nobody wants Dance Dance Revolution to be their favorite shit. Or the top. See a man in Darunia before the islands? Okay. I feel like have we gone there yet? Okay. Yeah, 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 what's up? I need magic spell to talk to these. Alright, here we go. What's in here? Who's in here? That's a big fucking house for nobody to be in there. The river devil eats those who are weak. Okay. Do I have to, like, actually fight it or something? Hmm. We're going up in this cave. Anyway, we still haven't actually gotten past uh, Ness yet, because we can't decide between Kirby, Zelda 2, and Punch-Out, and Mega Man 3. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, could I do a fire? It only takes 16. Nice, I don't want to do that yet, though. Motherfucker. Oh, maybe... Yeah, you have to do fire with them. Wow, okay. Come on. Nice. I, I hate that I scrolled him back onto the fucking screen. Jesus. Oi. Oh, these motherfuckers know. Holy shit. Uh, okay, that's fine. Let's continue. I, I do actually have another place I can check here. We doing this real quick. Create. Okay. It's like it has to look a little bit different so I don't fuck it off. I'm trying not to cheese this shit and actually do it legit and only save state from there. Anyway, so then the other thing is, like, we're doing this talk about it shit with, uh, with Rude Boy, and so we were talking about talking about definitive, we, we were talking about, talk about definitive top ten, um, assholes, get out of here, for survival horror, and then it's like, there's actually not a ton of survival horror, so I was watching some vids today. Wait, I'm going to go down in, this, uh, in these woods here. I mean, I could totally slay... I, I guess I have a sword laser right now. Anyway, so like, I was watching some vids on Top 10s uh, for survival horror. And of course, you know, Resident Evil. They were talking about this game. So like, like Resident Evil was based off this game called Sweet Home that Capcom made on NES. And it's basically like one of the first survival horror games. This is a bridge. Oh, I did do this. We did do this. Get the fuck out of my face. Anyway, this Sweet Home game uh, was basically like you were in a mansion. It's like a group of kids go, you know, horror story shit. A group of kids go to a mansion trying to find, uh, you know, art relics and hijinks happen. 
Well, welcome back, Season. WB. Uh, thanks for lurking. I appreciate it. Uh, so, this game, Sweet Home, you're running around. I was, I was watching it. It's like, it actually it does look pretty creepy. I mean, for a NES game, you know. We using the raft. We fucking lashing logs together. And we're floating to the other side of the thing. Get out. Okay, I'd like to... Can I kill these dudes? Is it... Are they possible to kill? I may have to have fire. Fuck, let's get out of here. Oh, wait, I will always think NBA Street 2 is the best. You could play as Mario and Peach and Luigi. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Quick, black and buff. Quick. Don't think too hard. Just spit it out. Top, like, three or four GameCube games. Didn't realize you were a, a GCN boy. We got look, 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 fellas. We got a GCN boy here. All right. Nothing down there. Okay. What's my health and shit look like? I'll go sleep with this woman. Anyway, so I was watching these videos and they were talking about this sweet home game, and then uh, Resident Evil. Um, Resident Evil is actually like kind of a remake. It was originally going to be a remake of Sweet Home. You have, well, okay, yeah, no, I don't need that. Smash Brothers Melee, yeah. You you are a great person. Beyond just being fun, you're also a great, uh, you're a pillar of the community. I, I know that. And you're a champion of reason. Man, that game. So that game will probably be like, Okay, that's that's good. That's actually one people haven't been naming. I think it like it stands outside of time and space on a quality level because that that game was like 60. I'm pretty sure that was a 60 frames per second, like perfect, 60 frames per second, flawless gem, like way back in the GameCube days. That's nuts. I remember playing that and being like, holy shit, games are on this whole other level now. And then I played some other like third-party games, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is the trash I remember. This is the kind of fucking goddamn garbage from developers I remember. Get out, son. I wish... Oh, fucking shit. Why does it push him back? It shouldn't push him back. So, watching this shit... So, it was interesting. Oh, and then there was also this other game on Atari, or it wasn't... A, it was on a computer, and it was like, it was like you know, a student, a college... Uh, software developer student made this game and so it's basically alien isolation but just you know like a top-down viewpoint uh, fuck I'm gonna have to do this right yeah man you know you know you know you know how it is you in the middle of the day you gotta keep people awake fuck I gotta learn how to do this I forgot the difficulty spikes in this fucking game okay we got that we got that that's actually probably a better way to go about it. We got fire here. I mean, you can shoot fucking fireballs, you know? Holy fuck. Give me this. Anyway, so this um, this alien isolation game is basically like... Well, so it's talking about, you know, th there's an enemy you can't kill, right? And so that's one of the things that makes it like a survival thing. So, like, I was thinking about Resident Evil 4 and that Verdugo... Uh, bit where you're like running away from him and there's like time to lock doors and shit and that's probably some of the closest we'll go this way why not that you get to that in re4 um you know so i don't know it's it interesting like sort of because i mean I've, I've only played re4 re1 and i mean that's really like all the survival horror shit i've played uh okay okay we got some sand over here uh, but so watching that stuff, like, I mean, there's like, Dino Crisis was considered a survival horror game, but then the second one was not, because it was like too action oriented, you know? Um, and so then it, that, oh, there's a town over there. That got me thinking, like, you know, there's Silent Hill and then um, Fatal Frame, and then... I didn't realize that that PT demo was uh, Kojima and uh, Del Toro. How the fuck do you say that dude's first name? Anyway, 
uh, I didn't realize that that was like a collaboration between those two peeps. Because I remember hearing people talk about it. I'm like, why are y'all talking about a fucking demo? Uh, and then, you know, like, they took it down. And only if you have it, do you have it. Will there be another one here? All right. Is this Stuart Neal Town? Whoa. This town's fucking got a beautiful sky. Mountain town of Darunia. Alright. Yeah, so... The discussion for those is always like, hold on, we gotta check this shit. Because there's always possibly somebody hiding under the bed. So, it seems like maybe instead of like talking on this, talk about it, uh, let's talk about it. The top 10. It seems like maybe it would make more sense to do, like, to talk about, like, w w what are the, like, when does a survival, like, what what constitutes an action game? What constitutes a, yeah, we're going to get some real quick. Uh, what constitutes an action game? What constitutes a survival horror game? Right? And then, like, w w where is the line? Like, at what point is there a line? Like, like where do you hit the line with that? You know, because obviously RE4, like, I mean, probably is going to be what people consider right in the middle. Can we jump up here? I feel like that can happen. No? Maybe not? Come on, son. Come on. And so that line, like, because for me, like, I wasn't going to play Resident Evil series. And, okay, that's probably the one I need to go to. Man, that jump does not take much, uh, much magic. So I wasn't going to play Resident Evil series because I was like, I was a Mario boy. That's the way that, I, that that's what, that's what I, fu I fucking fancied my, myself as, right? And then, and as, and, and, uh, and also a Zelda man. Um. And then this IGN um, reviewer named Matt Casamasima, look at that. Merry motherfucking Christmas, elf coming down the, uh, the chimney. Oh, nice. Wait, did you post it? Hell yeah. I'm going to keep going on my diatribe here. So, oh, look at this dude. Soldier of Hyrule? What? When you jump, press up to stab. Hell yeah, we're learning fucking sword skills. Okay, so this is a fucking dragon punch. This is also up air and down air and smash. Hell yeah. Shoryuken! Shoryuken! Anyhow, uh, so this reviewer that really loved all the Nintendo first party games was like, you gotta play Resident Evil 4. It's fucking insane. And I was like, nah, this dude. You know, some people like games, you don't know why the fuck they like them, it's trash. Uh, that, that you're the one that I was talking about, Sir Squash. <laughs> I don't remember what the fuck I was saying about you. It was about being in your stream. Thanks for showing up, man. I appreciate. It. I'm I'm uh I'm kind of sh I'm shit talking myself for uh not wanting to play Resident Evil 4 back in the day, and then I'm also we're also talking about and by talking I mean I'm talking. That's the way it goes in here. I say stuff, and then you can say stuff back, and then you know. So, uh, yeah. So I think that on on uh, Rude Boys uh, talk about it. I, I'm I'm kind of thinking about should I sway him to just talk about like wh where does the survival horror like like where, where's where's right on the the right the wedge issue where survival horror and action like bump up against each other, right? And It'd be interesting to know right what that was, because RE4 like really pulled me into that game because like uh, of its similarities to like it had so much adventure bullshit to it. Like I really felt like uh, Wind Waker didn't do what RE4 was doing in that generation for me. Everybody should check uh, Sir Squash out. He's a he's a real boy and also uh, he's a man's man. And by that, I mean he's a ladies' man. I still have... Uh, for VR. So, like, the thing I saw about RE4 VR that made me, like... Ugh, do I, I, I don't know. But one thing is, like... 
I, I, I honestly, I know they are remaking it, but I'd, I'd really honestly just prefer a remake. Look at this fucking crazy maze. It's nuts. Uh, oh, can I not kill? I, do I have to kill it with fire? I guess I do. Fine. Strike. It's like, I, if, if I do something that's going to help me, I'll fucking forget every other thing I'm supposed to be doing. Get out. Get out, son. Woo! Okay. Uh, we're gonna fucking march back. I don't give a fuck. Uh, let's do save, because I did get uh, upstab. So, yeah, it's like... Is RE4 the, the turning point, you know, where it's not survival horror anymore, or did that, like already happened because I was noticing people talking about Dino Crisis 2 not being survival horror and uh, and then I also like uh, I've always, I mean I've been interested in that Evil Within for a while have you played that season sector Evil Within also it kind of seemed like there were some aspects of that VR RE4 VR that they made like tough like get this motherfucker ugh a dragon punch is not doing shit for me right now. Like that should be able to, to flay those dudes. They're they're fire boys only. Where where are we at with life? Eh, get town on the other side. Anyway, it's interesting because that genre doesn't seem to have like an absolute ton and then some of the stuff that it does have is like like that dementium the ward for ds it's like rando games that are hard to talk about with the general public because a lot of people haven't played it like most people aren't looking for survival horror on ds it's kind of like that that, that game's kind of like could it be done like it's a thing like oh could we actually do this or something all right all right go Bridge? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Maybe I should... It's the same either way. Okay, you have to do this. There's no... You, you're not allowed to walk around. Get stabbed, son. Boom. Anyway, it's difficult to get a... Uh, consensus opinion on that. It's like when you're talking about it, you want, um, like, you think, like, oh, you know, if, if, if everyone just, uh, you know, stays objective and, you know, doesn't put their emotional opinion into it, but it's like, you hear someone else doing it, and you're like, yo, dude, come on, like, you're like, come on, you know this is not true, and it's like, they're not going to budge on it. <laughs> you've, been, you've been napping. Well, listen, if you fell asleep, your body needed it. You know? These fucking slimes. Well, we beat a dungeon, Colt. Get out. I just hopped right down on that like a moron. Oi. No. I wish they did more for the survival horror game instead of being like, Oh, do you mean, like, uh, the RE4 VR? Oi, this is not good. I, I just, like... I mean, I know if they made another game, it probably wouldn't... Do, you know, it, like, people wouldn't pay attention to it the same. But it is kind of like, I'm tired of seeing these fucking Ganados. Like, I need to not play that game for, like, seven years or something. So it gets the fuck out of my brain. These fucking bugs. Oy. That's okay. We knew it was going to be some problems getting... Oh, and they start me right here. Okay, this is not too bad. We got the dragon punch, too. Ugh. It's like, you had to be perfect with that. It doesn't even, like, stay out. No, just for games in the genre. Yeah. 
yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's what I mean by, like, talking about those. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, and this boy starts out here. Get out of here. Nice. Life. Fuck. Like, basically nothing there. Shouldn't even have done that. Yeah, so, like, like, I was watching you, Season Sector, um, play, uh, everybody drop Season to follow. Just, just do it. Oh, fuck. I don't have Reflect. Oh, shit. Can I do this? Hold on, hold on. I don't even have a key. Get out of my face. Like, you were playing, uh, Revelations, and one of the things that I was noticing is in that game is, like, the boss is, like, a big blob, and you're hitting its weak points or massive damage or whatever. And, uh, that was something that I noticed in, like, watching top ten best, uh, survival horror boys, is that everyone com seems to complain about bosses being, like, blobs. Like, that's a thing. Blob bosses. This is the Tetris dungeon, clearly. Oh, this has the shit... I think this has the pits where you fall? Like, purposefully? Maybe not. Anyway, uh... It reminded me of, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. That's an interesting fucking screen. Go. Wow, I could have fallen further. Oh, motherfuckers. Uh, I'm not fucking with this right now. But, like, item management, you know? Like, that's something that's crucial. And then, also, like, uh, a lot of these... Fuck, I can't stand this shit. I don't have a key. I can't do this anyway. Hold on. Go. That hurt me. Oh, I got the boots, son. I love how you stay as a fairy, too. Come on. Did I get, I, that fucking hurt me? God damn it. And I'm gonna have to get the fuck up out of here. No. Fuck. So you can just walk on water with these boots. Dude, come on. Get out. I mean, I guess in some way I could just like fight it out, right? Alright, here we go. I'm just gonna take this fall. Dunk, 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 dunk. Nice torches. Okay, I, I badly need reflect, or I can't do this. Oh, really? Y'all weren't there? Fuck. All I can think of is Resident Evil 4. Wait, for like survival? Okay, and Silent Hill, where as for just regular survival, I can name a lot more games. But it seems like Resident Evil 4 is where the fans, like start to split you know it's like and then and then you've got like new babies like like internet all, all their whole life kids who are like you have to stop to shoot and then like when you think about that functionally it is like what but like from a gameplay mechanic it's like works really well because you like you give yourself a picture to then like shoot on wb Anyway, so, like, but I was thinking about those mechanics and, like, why, like, like, those are probably, like, I wonder if you can come up with an objective metric for this is, this is too much action. Because, like, one thing is, like, if it's survival horror, right, then you do need, um, like, like, you need to be able to emphasize uh, running away from combat, right? Because, like, conservation of resources is, like, a part of that. You know, so it's like, if you, if enemies drop, if enemies drop shit, right, fuck off. There we go. That was a successful fucking lizard fight. If enemies drop health, or ammunition, or whatever the fuck, any item that you need, right, then, then it is, like, it's trying to, that game is geared towards action at that point, or at least the fighting mechanics, because you're not trying to run. I mean, even if you can... You know, you're going to, like, essentially... That's essentially, like, asking you to grind on, on enemies a little bit. There's nothing on that place. 
So there were certain issues with RE4, 5, 6, and the common thing I found was that they said it was more survival than horror. Well, so like, what makes it horror? Because because that's one thing too is like like when you are going into the mansion and it's just like, oh, this is a fucking creepy mansion in RE1, right? And then you see the dude like on the other guy and it turns around and it's the zombie face, like that classic moment, right? Like that is, that's really like, okay, this is horror because it's like they build up that suspense with the mansion, you know, being a mansion and looking creepy and being in the woods and shit. I'm gonna try to not fuck with these guys. Can I not? Yeah, because I can just block. Um, and then, you know, that horror payoff comes, it's like, oh, fuck, we're locked in this mansion, and it's like, undead fucks. You know, but like, uh, the dogs jumping out of the window is like a jump scare. So it's like, you know, they're, they're using different types of scare tactics there to fuck, fuck with your, to get you in a scary mode, right? Because then it's like, you know, a jump scare could just be somebody with a fucking gun. You're I mean, like, put your hands in there. It's like, oh god, fuck. You know, but in that sense, it's um, it's a little more than that. Fucking shit. He takes two hits. Goddamn. Uh, ah, uh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna save that for just that wee second. Damn. Get, get. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. I'm not, uh, not conserving resources the right way. <laughs> Did you have a whole fucking thing? <laughs> then you read it and you're like, no, this is, uh, I'm not that drunk. But yeah, so like that, um, you know, it's like the, the tank controls, you know, they simulate your inability to react nimbly to situations when you're, you know, like you would if you were really scared. I mean, you can make a lot of arguments. Uh, can we? We cannot. Cool. Just get out of my face. You know, so, I don't know, it's difficult. It'd be interesting to analyze that stuff. And then, like, I was, like, re uh, you know, I mean, of course, Dead Space comes up in those top tens, right? And, uh, it's like, that's like, oh, okay, well, we wanted to make Resident Evil 4 in space, which, I was, like, watching the clip of the director guy say that. And I guess it's like, I mean, I'd rather someone say that. Than, well, I'd rather someone say that than, you know, be like, what we want to do is make a World War II simulator or something. I mean, you know, whatever. I mean, all that stuff's fine. But yeah, look at this fucking room. Like, this is Metroid shit right here. Uh, I guess we could go through here. Let's go this way first, though. Fucking whiz robes. Uh, I can't hurt them. Okay, this is a problem. I can't do shit to them unless I have reflect. What's over here? I have to be really careful with this bullshit. Dun, 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 dun. We got a key. God damn it. Oh no. Fuck. Okay. Good enough for me. God damn it. Oh, this is dog shit. You gotta be kidding me. Fuck. Okay, so the thing about Resident Evil 1 and what makes Resident Evil 1 so iconic is back on the play, all back on the PlayStation. It was a game ahead of its time. The only way to play the game was with the lights off in the dark with a friend because it generally scared the shit out of you. Right, so like, those, the reasons that it scares the shit out of you, right? I mean, okay, so like that's that's one thing, especially like if you're talking about top. It's gonna be hard. It would be hard not to put that definitively on the top as the top. Wait, did I get the key? Okay, that's bullshit. How can it do that? Broke game broke. Strike that motherfucker. No. Yeah, take that. Funny enough, people were saying that the issue with the regular RE4 is. They like the remastered version VR because it's easier to control. Well, that's like... I can't play the stick version of RE4 now. I have to play the Wii 
with the Wii controls. And I think it's move on move also. I had to ask Thrift Bites. Uh, I need a shout out for Thrift Bites. I need to get my shout out shit rolling so I can actually throw up people who aren't here. Um, oh, we did do this, yeah. Nice. Okay, we got through it. Fuck. And then Rude Boy, you're saying no horror games, all the hardest. There's not really a lot of thought behind of what's to come. Yeah. Wait, stuff in night vision, like uh, tactical games or whatever, or what kind of dumb? Oh, fucking god, damn it! Of course, that's an actual flame that that fucking hurts you. Whew. Yeah, like the dogs jumping out of the window, like now you're just like, oh, <laughs> those dogs, Capcom, you silly boys. You know, you're not like, oh my god, that's amazing, like you used to be. But especially like at the time, really, just a key. Thank you. So excited for that. Fuck. Ugh. I'm not fucking with you. You're gonna make me, aren't you? Make you fuck with me. Okay, not bad. I guess it's like... At that time, there just really wasn't any survival horror games. So, like, that game got, like, a hard... Gets a hard pass for being the first, you know? But, but also, like... Just as far as the elements, like... Of what actually makes something, like, horror or survival horror or whatever... It's there. Like, even the save shit with the ink ribbons. It's like, god damn it, can I just fucking save? Right? But that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to do that. Outset where a portion of the game is night vision. Yeah, like outside Outlast is played all in the night all in night vision is just eh. Yeah. Yeah, so like what is what do you think is like actually missing from that? Like like what's the thing that is because, you know, it even could actually be, like, the cherry got bust, you know, on... Okay, yeah, fuck yeah. Get fucked. This should be the item. It could even be, like, the cherries just bust, and they can't really... It's not going to happen, like... There aren't going to be particularly any great... Because, cause like, did Ari... Seven, do it. Like, Season, you were speaking really high of RE7. Fucking shit. Get out. God damn it. I was waiting for that fucking laugh. Let's go. You know, like... I, I, don't, fe I don't feel for Seven. I felt like the hype... People, you know, like, I heard about it. But, but because it's new and taking a chance is this that's it that's all that it is is just the key you serious all right i gotta let you fall off in the fucking lava every time i guess that's maybe it's blood stop 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 oh fuck all right we're falling down again fuck nope oh it's okay. I guess I'm going up. Let's go. Yeah, so, I don't know, like... But anyway, so, Mitch, I was thinking, like... I feel like the definitive top ten will be fine to... It, like, it depends on how many people in there who are at this thing are gonna... want to... Like, are, are, are big advocates for survival horror. Oh, shit. Get the fuck out. So, like, that even hurts me. Like, there's nothing I can do there. Oh. He did this, right? I did this. I think so. Oh, I got a key. Okay, good. Get out. there's another key. You know, I really don't feel like getting more keys right now, you know? 
Alright, fuck it. Really? Okay, hold on. Jump, son. Oh, we did it. I don't like not having life. Get fucked. So it's like talking about where action and survival horror meet. Now that's a laugh. Fuck. Okay, we're doing it again. Look, it's just a tough game. It just is what it is. See, that's you got. You got to be chill. We will um, create a suspend point. All right, good. There's another issue with horror games, and that is you're playing it like remake two. The first two times I played it, but then when you started to go for achievements, it became less scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's one aspect of. I mean, you can say that affects horror games probably more because it's relying on the unknown, you know? But all games have that problem. That's why, like... Like, for games like Ocarina of Time, I just can't do it anymore. I can't play it anymore. I played it way too many times. Like, probably the second half of that game, I don't know quite as well. But it's like, it's such a, a slog to get through the first part. And I don't know, I'm not like... Uh... There's so many more entertaining mechanics to me nowadays. So it's difficult. I mean, I played RE1 on... The, I, I played the DS remake. Oh, fucking shit. Come here, son. You too. Alright, we're doing fire. Him. And it has some DS specific puzzles on there that actually, you know, I really, I mean, I dig motion bullshit. I love motion crap. Uh, it's just fun. I don't like it as much now, actually, as I used to. But uh, if I don't do a motion game for a while, I'll get like pumped to psyched to play it. I need to get that Skyward Sword remake. <laughs> Speaking of that. Stabs on. You know, that game, no one's talking about that shit now. Like, people just do not really care about that game. I'm sure the sales of that would be really good. It'd be tough to do a definitive top 10 for Zelda, man. That would be easy. Not, not using metrics. Because, like, none of them sell terribly. Okay. Wait, I want to get into a... a thing before I read this match. So there's some music going on. It feels weird when it gets fucking quiet as fuck. Here we go. Uh, RE7 brought more of a weird experience. More creepy. I'd say there's a lot. There's, there's not really Resident Evil games because it's its own story. Uh, and they use elements to try to tie the games together. Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's interesting. Like, they, like they could have just made it their own series. I, I think that's like I think any of the new RE2 remake is the best survivor horror in the last 15 years. Really? No, I like that survivor horror. We need more survivor horror games. That's like you turning tricks on the street for crack, you know, and. Like you gotta survive the mean streets, right? There's a you you gotta keep your crack level and like and then all you you know you have to eat some too. So it's a with that that's something that they really need to do. I'm surprised uh, Rockstar hasn't cornered the market for that. Indigo Prophecy. Hmm. I haven't played that game. Is it survival horror? Like, what is it? I haven't seen this game. Like, when I watch all these videos, it makes me want to, like, just play all the fucking games so I can talk about them better, you know? Uh, and I do, like, enjoy it. But, like, I'm, I'm definitely going to play RE5 probably in the next, like, five or six games. Like, once it goes on sale again for $20, I've got no fucking excuse. I'm a grown goddamn fucking man. I got twenty dollars to spend on a on a on a game. 
The same could be said for RE7. It's like when I first saw it on YouTube, I jumped, but it's since I saw it. Yeah. I mean, from what I saw, 8 or Village, the thing I don't like about th them calling it Village is it's just like, you're just using the Village name from, like, why? Oh, fuck. Okay, good. Whoo. Holy shit, how did that kill me? <laughs> you're, 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 <laughs> well, no, that Shiraz, uh, uh, Magical Fandango in the, in, the, in the city of Shiraz nest game, like, that looks cool. I mean, that to me seems like what this is like. It's a mishmash of genres to say, let's throw everything at the wall. And I kind of like... I think that there needs to be more genres in video games. Just like what you're saying, Mitch, about uh, Resident Evil 7. It's like... You could just, like, have another IP. Like, I, I get it. And, I mean, Zelda's probably a bad case to make for this because they use Zelda to fuck around with new experiences all the time, you know? Ooh. Give me this. All the way up. But, like, I, I, like just make a new, make a new IP. <laughs> you failed this. You're not the hero this city deserves. You motherfucker! It's okay. We leave our give a fucks at the door. Is that one of Jay's new ones? Hell yeah. That affiliate? That motherfucker? We need to get little fox waifu affiliated next. Which way do I go? Get the fuck out of here. It's this way, right? I've been meaning to go check... It was, oh, no, 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 no. I did go this way, right? Yeah, we got the key. Let's go. Hell yeah, Raptor J. Mr. J. That that emote belongs to Mr. J. Uh, if you're willing to hear about it. Absolutely. I've been meaning to go check out that uh, Monster Hunter, like, God Eater, right? I mean, isn't that what it was called? Oh no, you gotta be fucking off with me here. Oh no, that was so fucking stupid. Okay, hold on. Oh, we just barely did it. No, get out. You turn into a fairy. Like, that's fucked up. Always willing to hear about a, a new game series. I really do want to play that uh, RE2 remake just because uh, I'm a Leon show. He's a Kennedy, you know. That's why Ashley was all over in that game. She's the Marilyn Monroe of the... So in that... Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Uh... And we have one more life. I've got almost all the items now. Oh, my bad. I can... I'll fix that for you. As soon as I'm done with my stream, I'll, I'll fix it. It shouldn't be that way. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, this is not happening. I have to have the spell. Wow. Mega Wizrobe. That's an RPG, right? Danganronpa. 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 Isn't it? It's a fucking RPG, right? To a, a jerp. Get out. Fuck, guys, come on. Trying to sandwich me in here. Okay. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, no. We're not doing that. Oh, no. Are you fucking kidding me? 
Okay, get smart here, Jesus. Go through the door. Let's go up the elevator. Capcom has a hard time on which direction they want to go when it comes to that series because the fan base has their, yeah, oh geez, and want survival nail-biting gameplay, and then, yeah, right, they gotta have boulder-punching action and, like, sweating bullets about not having bullets. Yeah, I, some of that, too, is, like, here's the thing with that, right? If you throw the talent out, if you throw out the motherfuckers who invented the wheel, right, then you're not going to be able to make wheel 2. You're not going to be able to make sequel to wheel. You just won't be able to do it. Hold on. We got boots. Do I need to go somewhere? I, I, like, I can't, okay, I need to use my fucking brain here. I can't beat this guy, right? Because I don't have reflect. So, it's, that said, it's time to leave. Until I can find that spell. It's a murder mystery. Oh, it's a murder mystery. So is it like a visual novel type murder mystery game? I've seen some people playing it on here. Isn't that the one that has the, like, weird-looking trash can monster as its mascot? Oh, fuck. Get out. Oh, you can just walk. Whoa! Interesting. Oh, hell yeah. We got the... <laughs> That's a little boy! Okay, fuck. It's no, it's not a bear. Yeah, it is. It is difficult. That's why they just need to um, make another like survival horror series. But yeah, Capcom kicked all those people out. It's like the big wigs wanted the Western-looking games, you know. Like Capcom had that whole thing. Like that's the difference between RE4 and RE5. It's like Capcom wanted a more Western-focused approach at that time. It's not a bear, it's a kid. That little thing is a kid. You, you go give it to somebody in one of these towns here. We'll, um, we'll show you right now, motherfucker. This woman's not gonna be like, they stole my bear. I birthed the bear and someone stole it. Which town is it? Is it this one or the one up above? I can't remember. We'll see. In here, he's he tells you to talk to whoever the fuck. Yeah, thanks. Oh, oh, the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. So they say the mechanics in that game are really good, but the game itself is bad. Like, tell me why it's such a trash bag. Do 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 do. What? Please save your town. Okay. Can you tell me how? You guys got a bad town. Let me help you. Fair enough. Uh, let's just make sure. And then let's talk to her. My boy! Okay, oh yeah, River Devil, right, and then this I can't do. It's like, I really want to play, uh, six, just to play the engine. I don't want to play, like, three different stories, that was the first mistake. Yeah, it's difficult, uh, we haven't gone this way, have we? Oh, I know, I need the uh, whistle for that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Did I go in here? I think I did. Oh, I didn't do this, though. Oh, we can totally walk on water. Fuck off. Follow me, my son. Oh, you can't go more this way? Okay, never mind. I'm 
going to leave. They literally tried to make it the all-star. Like, everybody, every dope motherfucker. Wait, why can't I go out here? It's not letting me go... There we go. I'll do this dungeon shit. Uh, but Reflect is a spell... You can do these out of order. Okay. Green boy. Do it. Do some haunts. To pay whoever the partners were. Chris Redfield and Leon. They didn't have any type of attachment. That, so these were like new people that were their partners. I said, wasn't it Leon and some chick? I thought it was Claire. Get pops on. Oh boy, snakes. Rope, excuse me. Fuck. Double stab. Enjoy your hunt, sir. I should really be killing those things. Shit. Jump is better. Oh, fuck. It, you have to ferry. That's trash. Alright, time for some XP. The Jake and Ashley story. Cure to his blood, and he kept trying to sell it out. Leon and Elaine. Okay. And Nemesis. The first of, like, the kind of Nemesis. Mm -hmm. Robbie. <laughs> it's, that, it's so bad you don't even know. That's bad. This is stupid. I have to leave the room and come back to get this key. You gotta be joking. Yeah. Now, you really liked 5. I remember you saying that. I was really against 5 when they changed from the original. Like, the way they pitched the game was kind of different than how it actually turned out. Fuck. I should have got that pee bag, but whatever. Robbie Pierre, was that his name? Robbie, Robbie Pierre. I used to work in this, uh, in this facility for people with intellectual and developmental dif disabilities. And we had this guy, he was really smart. And, uh, I mean, he did, he did have IDD, but the director's name, uh, his name wasn't this, but he went by Pierre, and uh, the dude always called him Pierre. He like couldn't get the R right. Like in his mind, he was like, "This is some kind of like specialized French. I can't understand." Pierre. <laughs> Everybody's laughing at him, so I guess he's a he's a he's a schlop. Oi, um, can we? No, we don't have fifty percent. Fifty percent. That's crazy. It takes 50% no matter how much you have, or is it like two blocks? Oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh shit, that's fine, that's fine. It's weird, I've, well no, I did beat the boss. I was gonna say I've kind of made progress, I guess I've made progress. Yeah, we'll come back the other way. That makes more sense. So, just a trash bag of a dude. Nice. Two shots on those orange boys. Good. Not necessary. Okay, here we go. 
Hit me, Sean. Nothing. You got nothing. That's great. I'm feeling good about that. All the way down. Oh yeah. Stop. Um, should I go up there? Oh, um, hey, the problem is if you use a fairy, you have to use it twice to double back to those doors. That's not good. Oh, these motherfuckers. Ooh, game to do not like. Oh, wow, you're nothing. You're a bag of trash now. Wait, can you go through this? Really? There we go. Those real physics. Alright, we're getting out of here. Fuck that, fuck that guy. No, 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 go. Doo -doo. You wanna come over here? I need that key. Jump it is. Fuck. Oh, damn. Holy shit. Well, I got the key. I can even game I don't hate, but the tr teaser trailer is a lot better of an idea than the actual game. Oh yeah, what's that? Um, okay, I need to go up now. Wow, we actually have a lot. Because we can still go this way, right? Motherfucker, wait, who's doing this? These idiots. I guess they can't be hit, or are they just really fast? The flute may be around here. Fucking shit. Hate you. I have no reason to be here. Get out, get out. Wow, those things do not fucking go away. nothing. What's down here? Yeah, yeah, do it, do it. Do it in, there's a video channel, Laurel Real. Oh, no, actually do it in uh, regular old Lawless. Laurel Real is really for, like, funny boy stuff. Post it anywhere, it's Lawless. Who gives a fuck? Nobody cares. As long as you post it. Oh, yeah, 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 come on. Fuck. Okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, damn. Uh, maybe this will be a magical goodies creator here? Yeah. Yes, it will. Look at that. Give me another one. I heard that post. Come here, son. Gotcha. Three for a hundred. That's a good deal. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Come on. It's like, if you, if you hold forward just a wee bit. There we go. There we go. Jack shit. Okay, great. We're very happy about that. Yeah! Fuck! Oh, stop hitting. Alright, we'll go the other way. Did 
guy. Alright, good. Now, all the way up over to the left for the key on the back stop. Surely there should be like an elevator over here. I see you. Nice. There is an elevator. Uh, wait. No, no. <laughs> shit. It's done? Oh, fuck. Hold on. We get out of here. Come on, boys. Fuck. Fucking shit. Okay, you know what's happening here? This. Wow, now I'm getting a laugh. Yup. Fuck. That's okay. Going back. Hey, Mr. Pop. <laughs> Pop. Subscribe and iron knuckle for life. You don't mean hard knuckle. You mean iron knuckle. Okay, Pop, we beat... Uh, um, we beat one of the temples, and now I'm, like, jumping in between temples right now. Let's see. I probably should have saved that for the, uh, level up, but whatever. Buck for the knock! And a buck, buck for the knock! You got a buck for the knock. I really appreciate that. Are you okay? Yeah, what's wrong? Buster Wolf? Where you been at, man? Where you been at, dude? Yeah, it's like, you talking about me? Yeah, I'm fucking great. What are you talking about? 401k is bussin'. I don't know if you TikTok much, if you know what bussin' is. You teach, you gotta know what bussin' is. Surely those kids talk. Oh, here we go. Here's the paragraph. I guess I gotta make this more... Yeah, it's like you, you put too much into it. Uh... So I like five because the cooperative mechanics of going through the game. Ammo is scarce. Very first playthrough with you and your buddy. So sharing ammo is also not to mention. So I'm wondering. Uh, oh, you just the new one. Okay. How was it? How was Dune? Tell us more about the movie Dune. Okay. Can't go that way. weird. You can't walk anywhere. You can walk some places. That's it. You dug it. Have you seen the Kyle McLaughlin dude? Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna address this real quick, weird boy. There was no iron knuckles. What the fuck? I, I'm, not, I'm not sure off the top of my head who Dave Batista is. I see how the, um, like, sharing the ammo with a friend could be pretty cool. Like, chilling after you've, like, knocked out a horde of peeps and saying, like, oh, fuck, I need, well, okay, well, how, why don't you take this and you can stay back? I guess, like, what I'm worried about with that game is, will I dig the co-op? Is it co-op online? Well, like, I don't have local co-op to play with. So it's like, can you play it online? And if not, is it really, like, you're suffering? I kind of, like, owe it just because it's the sequel to Resident Evil 4. Batista. Yeah, like the original with Kyle MacLachlan and uh, Sting. Fuck. That pee bag's tough to get, man. Two shots of those Medusa heads? That's bullshit. I'm just, I'm just blazing through this. I ain't got time for y'all. Ow, fuck. Yes. Good night, Mitch. Have a wonderful uh, night full of great dreams. Or, like, maybe you prefer nightmares. I don't know. You're, you, we were talking about survival horror. I watched a horror movie called... I watched a review. I realized that I never watched these actual things. I just watched fucking reviews on them. 
The Terrifier. Colt, you'd probably like it. Maybe you've seen it. Good night. See you when the bad bugs bites. What time is it? Oh shit, I've got 12 minutes left. Holy fuck. My D and D campaign ended. Okay, so this was a dead end. Cool. Uh, the Terrifier. It's about a clown. It's kind of like horror it with more gore, with a little bit of Resident Evil like stuck in a building. I think it has online co-op with with, comp with computers. Stressful, yeah. You didn't like Terrifier? <laughs> Why not? Yes, peace out, uh, Mitch. Have a wonderful, motherfucking perfect evening and sleep or whatever. Glad to, uh, glad to lull you into a, a REM cycle. What did you not like about the Terrifier? I oh, oh, oh. I don't, um, I guess I'm gonna have to come back. Fucking shit. Life. Life. So apparently there's an older movie, an older Terrifier, also. Just gotta go from here. Bling. Let's get this. Look up Hell House, LLC, that movie. I've also been watching this, uh, it's like found footage type of shit. Uh, fuck, I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's kind of horror, kind of, it's like psychological horror thriller shit. But it's a, it's a YouTube channel, specifically. Fuck, what is it called? No, stop. Can I not hurt this? You gotta be kidding me. Life. Why do I have to strike keys to kill him? Why do I have to kill keys? All Hallows Eve. That movie just blows ass. It's terrible. Yeah, it's almost more like a gore film. But it was interesting to watch the review because it only had like certain parts to it, you know? It was scary though. Like I, I liked that the clown was actually scary. I can name three films that aren't paranormal activity if you're willing to hear. Yeah, stop. Listen, no, no one's. You are allowed to to recommend and slash and or say any anything you want. There are no there are no rules to that. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, you. I'm gonna go down here. We went up, and wasn't there nothing at all? Isn't that what we found over here? Pretty sure. This idiot. Nice. Oh, oh, this. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go up. What's your favorite horror movie, Pops? Mr. Popinski. Uh, life? Yes, please. Stri oh, fuck. Fucking shit. That's too hard of a question. You know, people are like, oh, Evil Dead. I like Evil Dead. No, it's not a comedy movie, a horror movie. Holy fuck. God, why is that guy such an asshole? Oh yeah, you're not gonna give me one, right. Okay, good. At least I got that on lockdown. Hell House LLC. Two troll hunters. 
three always watching. I'll check those out. I, I never get in the mood until it's time to go to bed, and then I'm like, oh god, why am I watching this? Frankenstein's Army. I didn't get the, uh... Or did I? No, I didn't get the magic whatever it is out of this. Oh, this motherfucker. Look at him. Wow. Really? Okay. Watch a whole lot of horror and B movie stuff, huh? Yeah, that's true. I hear that. I really didn't care for that until I watched all that Cinemassacre shit about like classic horror movies and stuff. You should be uh, uh you don't know horror unless you know the beginnings of horror. Dr. Caliagri's cabinet or whatever. Uh, hmm. oh, well, I guess I'll go back once more. This is really going to be my last run, and then I'm out. I'm out. Let's go. Oh, fuck. No, I don't want to fuck with you at all. Like, I guess only fire in the eyeball will kill those things, but goddamn. So you're just a huge horror fan. I'm a horror fan, too. Hmm. Which way? So I can't, I literally cannot do that one boss until I get the reflect spell. I prefer not to resort to a guide if at all possible, but it may just, I may just have to. Let's go. You watch a ton of old horror, like what? Like, like Dr. Caliagri's Cabinet of Craziness. Do you think modern horror is crap? Fuck, get out of my face. Do 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 Go. You don't need it to be scary. Like, what do you mean by that? Like, you're just a fan of whatever people are calling horror. You're just like, let me see what the new shit is. Oh, yeah, 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 like, like all the, uh, the old monsters, like Frankenstein, and Wolfman, and, yeah, there's a certain, uh, je ne sais quoi to all that stuff. No one should let me watch anything that involves science. <laughs> science, you get too, you get too caught up in the science, man. Alright, I guess this time I'll go down, oh, oh, oh. If there's too much realism in your fiction, it becomes a problem. Oh, oh. Deftly dodged it. Get the fuck out. You're not in love with what's been... Yeah. That's kind of to be expected, though, right? I mean, it's sort of like... I don't know, I mean, movies are a technological medium, but everyone has some point where they're like, yeah, anything past this, eh, I don't know, it's different. I'm trying to think, like, I, I'm probably really only like that with games. We're going down, down, down. Oh. 
Wait. Did I maybe already do this? Woo! God damn it, get out of my face. This is not the right way, I can tell. No, I'm not supposed to be doing this. That was a key entry, and that's it. Go, 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 go. Mal M malignant? I haven't seen this malignant. It's not a tumor. Get out. Skull. Also, make it five. Romero. Do we do this? Ooh, the game is not liking that. Okay, this is different. This be a different room. Like, can I hit these wizards? I'm just not fast enough. I'm just not fast enough. Get. I love those fights. They're really tough in the beginning. Fuck, get up there, son. Damn it. Damn it! It's a dead fucking end. Oh no, 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 no. Oi. Okay, fine. this? Come on. I need a key? Is it it's another key? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah, you sound like a regular fucking Wesker, dude. Get up there. Yeah, there we go. Happy to fight you up here, son. What are you working on in your lab season? You gotta get a running start. myself a nice little staircase. Got it. I don't know where another door is, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's where you differ from Wesker. Yeah, Pop, Pop, gladly take that mantle. Straight up. No remorse. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Alright, perfect. It's time to raid somebody. Um, hold on. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna do this for real. I'm gonna go ahead and create a suspend point. I'm gonna create another one. Gonna create another one. Yeah, he's got the most hair here. Hair here. All right, cool. Well, that was fun little stream. Uh, it's time. Let me go back to my page. I hate the way when you raid a channel, when you hit the raid channel shit, it shows you like five fucking people. You don't know who the fuck they are. Stellar Death. No. There's a lot of health. What benefits to being a zombie? Anybody got uh, a raid suggestion? 
Jay's not on, is he? Mm, oh, let's see. Let me go to Twitch Reggie. I have to, like, do another fucking tab for Twitch to see who the fuck is on my goddamn list. No. Let's do somebody that doesn't have a lot of people in there. Get Anonymous Llama, I guess. Lilypad. Ishniku. Ishniku. No. Mm. Maybe somebody with more people in there. Mm, let's go to spot. It's Diablo 3, right? Radio Tanuki. Oh, yeah, that's a buddy of yours, right? Yeah, let's do that. Radio Tanuki. That's a cool name. Yeah, he's got one person here. All right, uh, uh, all the lawless people, you know who you are. You're the best. You're the first and foremost. Uh, you're the first president of the United States of America, uh, as well as other people. Um, there's a lot of new people in here, first-timer peeps tonight, um, and so I really appreciate that. Rude Boy, of course, Black and Buff, always. Uh, anyway. The main thing that you need to think about is the level to which you have. He's got a radio tanuki. He's got a uh, uh, the the artist for SNK version of Saget on here. I love it. We doing it anyway. Uh, yeah. So you've got bed bugs. Uh, you're letting the bed bugs bite. And so you need to get rid of that, fix that problem. Uh, good night, everybody.